liberal speaker has taken the fall for this massive international shame and embarrassment. But the Prime Minister's protocol and intelligence units had the right to ask for the list of all those who would be present and recognized around a war leader from a country that is trying to defend its freedom from not only an invasion but a propaganda war. The Prime Minister did not carry out that responsibility, and now our nation's reputation is in tatters. Will he stand up and apologize to Canadians, to the Jewish community, to the Ukrainian people, and to the entire world for this mess that he helped create? Yeah. The Honourable Government House Leader. I, I feel that I have to remind the Leader of the Opposition this, although he knows it very well himself, that the Speaker of the House of Commons is independent. He is voted upon by all of the members of Parliament, and he is the Speaker of all parliamentarians. Mr. Speaker, uh, we know, and the Leader opposite knows, that this was the decision solely of the Speaker of the House of Commons. He chose to invite this individual. He chose to recognize him without, rec without informing the government or the Ukrainian delegation. This was highly embarrassing. I accept his resignation, and I'm glad that he did it. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Has there ever been a greater diplomatic embarrassment in the history of our country? I mean, literally in coffee shops and gyms and businesses and boardrooms around the world, people are reading about this massive and shameful disgrace that unfolded under the watch of a Liberal Speaker and a Liberal Prime Minister. And yet, he can't even show up for work. Where is he and why is he hiding under a rock today? Yeah. The Speaker of the House announced his resignation because he took responsibility for his actions that have hurt parliamentarians and have hurt all Canadians and indeed Canada's reputation. That is why every party in this House called for his resignation. But I do find it ironic, Mr. Speaker, that we have barely heard a word of support for Ukraine from the Leader of the Opposition until took the fall and the Prime Minister continues to blame everyone else. A full-blown international embarrassment for our country, for our allies and for everything this nation did to defeat the Nazis. An actual Nazi invited to the House of Commons, welcomed and celebrated as a hero and a government that vetted everyone here. Shame. The PM has called Canadian citizens Nazis. Will he muster the courage and stand up on his feet today and take responsibility? The Honourable Government House Leader. The minister who is now whispering was louder when she also painted Canadians as Nazis, and she can't bring herself to apologize for an actual Nazi this government vetted. Worse even, she tried to strike it from the historical record of this House as if it never happened. A descendant of Holocaust survivors distorting the Holocaust. You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know how many... It's not just the reputation of Parliament that has been sullied. It's the reputation of this country on the world stage. This isn't just a parliamentary issue. It's a full-blown diplomatic one. Ian Bremmer of the Eurasia Group said yesterday, 
This was the worst week for Canadian diplomacy wow. in I can't remember how long. Wow. Diplomacy is the responsibility of the government of Canada. Right. So when will the Prime Minister take responsibility for this diplomatic disaster? They all have massive resources for vetting visitors to this place. The Prime Minister just threw the Speaker under the bus. But the truth is, the buck stops with him. Allowing a Nazi to be honoured in this chamber has embarrassed Canada on the international stage. Shame on him for bringing shame on this chamber. Will the Prime Minister finally take responsibility, do the right thing and apologise? Yeah. 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 Yeah.